of six. Um, you've had the you both had their number in the recent weeks. It's Frankfurt versus Gladbach. Congratulations to Frankfurt making the Europa League. And by the way, it wasn't an easy road for them, and they've come up trumps, and they deserve their big night out. It's Frankfurt at plus one twenty five against a massive Gladbach side who can disappoint, but they're plus one ninety. The under over is at three and a half. Frankfurt team total was the one I was looking at, thinking. I'm not sure they scored twice, plus 105. I don't know what Gladbach are going to do, but it's minus 120 for them to score twice. Kev, try and work this one out because I looked for goals, but then I'm not sure that both teams are going to contribute. Well, Frankfurt, as we know, have been completely concentrating on the Europa League, and there's no problem with that. Put a lot of effort in on Thursday. It was very emotional. You know, there's no doubt that they celebrated afterwards. And so I think they'll come into this a little bit drained, understandably. And heavy legs. I think, yeah, heavy legs. And, and look, I think Gladbach, as awful as they've been this season, and they really have, they've just beaten Leipzig. Thought they played pretty well at times against Freiburg. I still think they're a mess defensively. But going forward, they've been a lot better. So this came down to me a question of whether I thought Gladbach could score twice. And I actually do think they can. Uh, I think we've had better performances from Braille Embolo. They've got plenty of attacking weapons. They've got ways that they can hurt teams. And I just think Frankfurt have looked really off the pace in the last few weeks. They haven't been fully concentrating because of the distraction of that Europa League run. So it would not surprise me at all if Gladbach go there and score a couple of goals. Yeah, and I think if they score a couple of goals, Alex, they actually win. And I, I'm typing in now that I'm going to take the Gladbach uh, plus 190. I think it's, it's too big. It's too big for a side that are physically stronger. They're going to be uh, fresher. Uh, and Frankfurt, what are they going to do? They're going to go there. Are they going to be celebrating? It, it, it's crazy that I'm getting plus one, 190 against a side that have not got many question marks over them, other than being reliable. They did celebrate and they did it uh, big after the match. But will they continue? Will they continue I on the Saturday with the crowds? So then the crowd could lift them and don't and like the Frankfurt players will be like a bag of spanners after the game. But they'll get through this game. They will get through this game, uh, trying not to have any injured players because uh, we know how important is the final against the Rangers. Uh, that final against Rangers is the only way they could uh, play in Europe and in Champions League mostly, not in only in Europe, like we say, Conference League or whatever, you know, no, directly in the, with the big boys uh, there, you know, so uh, uh, we faded them uh, for the last uh, five rounds, uh, we did well to fade them, I think that uh, we should continue to fade them. And I don't think that uh, Gladbach will lose this match. So I wouldn't go directly to that plus 190 i'm more reserved uh, so if you want to play something from the from that market you could take gladbach with a drono bet again at plus money plus 110 so in plus case 120 with bet us plus 120 with, uh, bet us so imagine right now uh with the plus 120 so if uh, in case of a draw you will take uh, your money back uh, frankfurt will feel in terms of fitness, they will they will have a huge problems uh, to be at their top uh, um, at their top of their level uh, against Gladbach. Gladbach last week uh, beat uh, another team that uh, um, had till yesterday European involvements. So RB Leipzig. They are playing uh, another one today. They have an amazing attacking firepower. Gladbach. They underachieved uh, all season long. And I think that um, they want to demonstrate right now that uh, this is the wrong place that uh, they are in, you know, and they are capable of beating the big guns that they are fighting for Europe. And uh, I think that Gladbach uh, has the first chance here. Plus, nine, one nine, plus 190 is way too high for Gladbach to win this match. And I really don't understand what the bookies are thinking because Eintracht are unreliable in their domestic uh, league. They risked uh, all their season because they wanted to go all the way in the Europa League. So here we are right now fading them, fading them. Quick one, Kev. Do we feel as if the stars of, uh, obviously, or the heroes of the semi-final two legs, do you think they uh, they start in this game? Because 
It's one of those. Do you give them an hour and bring them off and get like a clap from the crowd? Or do you maybe put them on the bench, give them a rest and think, OK, now it's all eyes on the final. I think it'll be a bit of a mix. I think there was a bit of a surprise when uh, Philip Kostic played recently. They, they didn't expect him to start, but he tends to demand Fancy. to start every game. Um, so that was a big surprise. I, I think you might see guys like Kamada rested, maybe. Um, you know, it'll have taken a physical toll on him. Martin Hinteregger obviously didn't play, so he might return because he's not been well, but he might be back in time. So that would be a big boost for them. But he's done a good job, Oliver Glasner, in general, of, of rotating that squad and finding solutions across the squad. But I think it's less a personnel issue and what more the just a Sorry, general... What's the situation with uh, Hinteragor, uh, Kev? Because uh, he got out uh, in the, after eight minutes uh, just uh, against West Ham yesterday, so he might be injured. Yeah, so it is a bit of a strange one because it was touch and go whether he was going to play in the first place. Um, because he'd been struggling with a cold. So whether it's an injury that he was withdrawn with or not, we'll have to see. But uh, the, what they certainly won't do is they won't take any risks, put it that way. Yeah, I love that. And so I'm getting, this is where I'm going away from the draw no bet here at plus 120. I understand if people want to just have that little caveat. But I'm getting a side at plus 190 against a side who are not guaranteed, and, and probably, listen, the odds are that they're not going to play anywhere near a full-strength side. They're going to be very cautious, but they are going to be at home. Um, let's have a little look at the official picks, because I've added, I've just added uh, Gladback, $100, uh, plus 190. Uh, Gladback, uh, Flash, so uh, in your parley, in the parley, why don't we put Gladback draw double chance at minus 160? Well, at minus 160, draw double chance. Oh, you mean, yes. OK, minus 160. I don't think we need to, because I, if, if they win, I've got the plus 190 for the team. And also, glad back to score twice at minus 110. I think I'm quite don't happy you think, saying... Don't you think, Kev, that uh, that minus 190 is a little bit too low? Uh, minus 110, uh, sorry, for uh, over 1.5 goals, uh, glad back team total. No, I think that's probably about right. Uh, I think, you know, it factors in the fact that Gladbach have been very untrustworthy throughout the season but i just feel like that's about a fair price and it's something i think will probably happen so it, uh, you know in general anything that's about 130 or or below i'm, I'm not mega happy with anyway but one minus 110 is about right i think OK, and obviously I've gone with Gladback to win the game at plus 190. Um, yeah, I'm looking here and I was just thinking to myself that I've got that plus one, um, sorry, minus 170 for Firth to score a goal. And then I've got the minus 150, but I didn't put a team next to it. What team was that that we said that would score twice? What game would that have been in? Is that uh, not Freiburg? Leverkusen? Leverkusen, yeah. OK. okay. Leverkusen, because you know that that parlay is at plus 164. So basically, Firth to score one and Leverkusen to score two is at plus 164. But we'll come back to that after we take the last game on the card. 